Greetings. Um, today I'm going to go over how to use JBrowse on the desktop. Um, JBrowse on the desktop is a standalone application that you can run on your computer, um, not requiring a web server or anything. Um, so you can see that on here we have just a application that we can launch. So when you go into that, it'll be treated with a welcome screen with a lot of different options. You can browse the sample data, or you can open your own sequence files, or pre-existing data directories. And you can also look and see that there were previous sessions that you can go back to. So I know you'll want to probably look at your own data, so let's open a sequence file. Here we have the ability to open a FASTA file or an index FASTA file. The index FASTA is generally better to use uh, for large FASTA files and this is generated by SAM tools. You can provide links for that. Um, so to get started you'll select a file of interest. So we'll go to the data directory. Here we have some samples for a single scaffold on an organism called Pythium Ultimum. When we choose our FASTA file, this isn't indexed, but you can see that it still recognizes it and allows you to select the track. And it also has a couple options for sorting the chromosomes in your FASTA file by either their length by name or just using the order that was in the file. Um, so we'll just use the defaults and it opens up quickly. Zoom in and see all the sequence data. And uh, now we can also continue to open some more tracks. So similar to the sequence dialog. Uh, there's a special version for opening tracks, so we'll select the GFF, for example. It will automatically choose what tracks to display, so let's select those. And there you go. It loads that GFF and it gives you all of the appropriate annotations. Um, so this was generated by Maker, so there are a lot of different predictions in there. Um, you can also open up other tracks such as BAM files. We'll select the uh, BAM and the BAM index from the file, and it will actually recognize that this wants to be an alignment track. So open those, and there you go, you're greeted with a nice BAM file. So at this point you're probably wanting to save your session, um, so what you can do is go into here, select save session, and it'll just prompt to overwrite anything that's already there. Say OK. And then when you relaunch JBrowse, you'll have the option to get back to where you were. Let's just do that. We launch the desktop app. And there we go, we have our previous session here. Let me open that up. 
to the EGFS and the net file. So, what else might you want to do? There are also um, options for loading additional plugins that provide customizations to JBrowse. Let's simply try opening a new plugin. You can just go here and you'll basically want to select a directory that contains the info for your plugin. I'm choosing the uh, hide track labels plugin. And it'll just prompt to load that up. And when you do that, you'll have a new button available to hide the track labels. So that concludes the major new um, features for running JBrowse on the desktop, and I look forward to hearing back from you and giving feedback, so do let me know. Um, and thanks for watching.